starting from scratch Brick by brick No path carved out for us now The brush is Morgan, you are my best friend and my favorite smile. You're a crunch wrap loving, black coffee sipping, old soul ball of joy. Morgan, you are my one. I love you more than yesterday and tomorrow. I will love you more than today. I promise to be honest and faithful and to encourage and inspire you. I promise to voice my love for you with every breath I take. I promise to come for you. And yes, if that means through back, hair pets and back scratches. I promise to listen as long as it takes for you to be heard. Today we start a new chapter, one with different struggles, larger goals, and many firsts. For whatever the future holds, Morgan, I promise to be your light in the dark, your blanket in the cold, and your knight in shining armor. Today we become husband and wife, but forever we are soulmates. I love you. Connor Matthew Brewer. I inserted here to just breathe and stop blubbering so that you can understand what I'm saying. This year has been a bit of a roller coaster. We have looked forward to this day for a very long time. And at times we're even wondering if this day was even going to be possible at all. I have so many promises to you that won't even be said, but I'm going to try my best to sum this up. First off, I promise to continue being your best friend and supporting you in reaching all of your goals and allowing you to be the dreamer you are as you have done for me. I vow to never let you be bored and to continue all of our adventures from traveling to life experiences. I promise to put you on the pedestal I have since I have set you on since the first day I met you because I know you do the same for me. I have always said you are up here and I am down here, but it's to push myself to be a better woman for you as I see you as such an amazing person and I still can't understand how you even exist. I promise I will continue to stay weird and my true self, including dancing in the kitchen and staying up late playing video games with you. I also vow that I will continue surrounding us with friends that support us, help us, and hold us accountable for being the people and relationship we want to be. Looking around today, I feel that we have done pretty well so far, as I feel the support and our choice to be with each other forever. I promise to love you as you have loved me, both in sickness and in health, but I hope death does not part our love, as I promise to have a love that our family and friends now and in the future will remember even when we have gone. I love you. Whining so hard I think life's all about me And it's hardly even snow But I stay inside like it's the ice you to dry my face Look how I behave And all the mess that I made
Every time you're away I long for you so much I can find my way We got everything here At least to stay alive And the time that we share Makes it all worthwhile Got this place on I saw you walking the line And the truth may come as a surprise So Maureen, do you remember those early mornings? What it was I said to you when you got on the bus or when I took you to school and actually to this day, what I ask you to do? Make good choices. Um, yes. And not only do we think you made a great choice, but a perfect choice in finding Connor and marrying him today. Um, Connor, you've been a part of our family for several years now, and I've enjoyed watching your love grow for Morgan, the way um, you're dedicated to Morgan, the way you handle her sass. Um, not anyone can do that, trust me. Um, but um, the respect you have for her uh, makes us very happy. As your young hearts experience happiness, sorrow, adventure, and challenge, may you one day have the true joy of celebrating your own accomplishments on a day like today. Connor definitely hit the jackpot with his new family. Connor has always been my little shadow, and I've watched him uh, grow into this amazing, kind-hearted man. When life gets hard, because it will, remember this day and the love you share. Morgan, I could not ask for a better wife for my son. The way you support each other is beautiful to watch and I can't wait to watch the life you create. Thank you for loving him so well and welcome to our family. I loved him first, but I know you love him last. Our parents actually introduced each other. <laughs> we have always fit into the sibling, older, younger stereotype. I was the older, cooler sister who was always annoyed at my younger sister. She was the little sister who would go around to all my friends hissing at them. <laughs> I cannot be blessed with a better sister, friend, and role model. Morgan has incredibly high standards, so I knew whoever she ended up with would be a good one. Connor knows very well how to handle Morgan, which is no easy task. <laughs> he does it with love, compassion, understanding, and sometimes annoyance. <laughs> I love seeing their relationship grow and look where it got us at a beautiful reception filled with all those that we love. Being a romantic takes a hell of a lot of hope. When you find someone that you love, it feels like hope. So Morgan and Connor, my wish for you two is that you always feel that hope. Connor, welcome to the family and congratulations to both of you. I've known Connor forever. I've known him since kindergarten, friends of seventh grade. But one story that just comes to mind, especially today, would be the uh, first time that Connor said I love you to Morgan. Connor ended up calling me freaking out immediately after. Um, so this is very early in the relationship. Like, couple weeks or so, I was able to calm him down. But if you know anything about me, I'm not gonna leave it there. So we printed out hundreds of rose petals, cut them all out individually, 
Um, bunch of patients says, you know, I love you, hearts. Posting them all over the room, you know, rose petals all over the bed, wall, floor, you name it. And uh, just waited for him to walk in and uh, just embarrass him a little bit more. You know, he's like, we have to have fun. And uh, what I'll say with that is, if Morgan's able to handle all of our friend group and everything, <laughs> you have to be the one for Connor, you know? <laughs> all I wanted, I saw us too. No more clouds, no more rain I need sun to ease my pain Before this night is over I will guide you home, home.